And you got the secret recipe that only mother knows This to make your moves on me Trying to get a taste of a remedy This time you better watch it now My hair looks like Hermione Granger Why are you always talking when you shouldn't be talking Mr. 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 I love now Look at this t-shirt. It's a 5XL and it's so comfy. It's a golfing one. I feel like Adam Sandler in it. But it's honestly the comfiest freaking shirt I've ever worn. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. How's, how's, how's the year been treating you so far? It's currently the 4th I think. The 4th of January. I've been off for two weeks. Uh, went away for Christmas and genuinely just didn't have the time, energy or effort to film. So <laughs> here we are. Um, I've taken like a week to do a little schedule type thing. So gonna be plenty of content in the new years hopefully. hopefully um my plan was to get this video out in december but like i've said it took a couple of week off so here we are in january all the yearly recaps and everything will be done in january and if they're not done in january i probably won't bother with them but yes today i'm going to take you through everything that i have made in 2023 i have a q a video coming up i know i keep saying this every single <laughs> Video. I think I've said it for about the past three but the 5k q and I've finally got all the questions curated and in one place so that will be coming very soon and one of the questions was how long I've been crocheting and fun little fact I've never actually disclosed, disclosed it like it's some big secret but um, I actually started crocheting in May of 2023 so very much new to it all but I wouldn't say I'm still a beginner just because I do it so often but yeah I've I started crocheting in May <laughs> fun little fact so everything that you're going to see today isn't a whole year's worth of stuff because I've not actually been doing it a year yet which is mental but um, there's still plenty to show I guess some of the things I've sold some of the things I've given away some of the things I've frogged and made into other projects um, but yes 2023 is the first year that I've been crocheting so gonna see a lot of fails in this one but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, my darlings. Ooh. This is cranberry juice, not wine, unfortunately. I'm trying not to drink in January, dry January. A moist January, as George Clarke called it. And also, look at the strawberry cup. I got me and my sister a matching one from Primark, and they're very, very cute. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do this is try my best to remember, because... I don't take many photos of my crochet projects, which is a new goal in 2023, is for me to get on my crochet photo Instagram posting stuff. So I wanna be so I wanna be taking more photos of my projects, more photos of the process of my projects, and then posting them on Instagram. Instagram. Um but the main source of my memory will be YouTube videos. Um so yeah. I might move to the side. I'm gonna move to the oh, I'm gonna move to the side, I think. Just a little bit. So for the ones that have photos and videos, I can put them here. Okay, so the first thing I ever ever crocheted were sleeves. And I <laughs> Oh I want well I wanted to make the sprout little thing that you put on your headsets. I'll show you here. So I went out and I bought some green, but I didn't know anything about yarn. I didn't know that there were different types of yarn. Like I didn't really, well I knew there were different types of yarn, but I didn't really think it mattered. So I went out and I got some, um, it was, it wasn't chunky, but it wasn't DK. It was like, it was, it was just a thicker green yarn and no bueno, no bueno. Um, I didn't like using that green um so I went out and eventually bought some black and that is when I made my first pair of sleeves the black that I was using was chunky black so it was a bit stiff it, I don't have them anymore because I frogged them because I didn't like them but here they are in all their glory and I made them to go and see mouth culture with Maya then I also made her a pair a pair, I want to say a pair of sleeves, but they're not a pair of sleeves, they're just one singular sleeve. Um, I, I, I don't really know, but I, some sleeves. I made her some as well in red, um, so they were my two projects. Um, yeah. 
I don't own the black ones anymore. I did end up remaking the black ones in a thinner yarn and I liked them a lot more. But I just didn't wear them, so I frogged those as well because I needed black for another project, so that was that. And then I genuinely, so like looking at it now, yeah. So when I first started out I wanted to start making clothes and then those sleeves, I was just like so done with the sleeves that I was like, no, I feel like my thing is going to be amigurumi plushes. I now know that it's not. I prefer, I prefer something I can wear is what I'm trying to say. So I prefer clothing now, but I was like, oh, I'll do amigurumi. I really love teddies and cute fluffy things. So let's see. I think I still have my bag of amigurumi. I'm gonna go find my bag of amigurumi. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, so I just went on a little bit of a ramble and I realised that I just made no sense. I wasn't doing anything in order as usual. Um, I don't have anything written down. I was going to, but then I just didn't have time. So I'm basically gonna start again. <laughs> um, as I said, I started crocheting in May slash June time. I did my first ever pair of sleeves um, for June, for like near, near enough the end of June. And then in July I realised that I wanted to go into more like amigurumi type things, so July, August I made amigurumis. Um, and those were like, they were like octopi, I've got some here, they're like little octopi, I still have <laughs> um, little baby ones, and then I made some a Turtles? I think my turtles are still in here. Oh, and there's a little octopi back filled with things. Little. This was when I got some little chunky arms, so I made like a little ghost. This was like a little blue octopus that I did. A jellyfish? A little jellyfish that I did. I also realised during that clip where I was ra rambling on, my I did my first ever video in August. That was the first time I posted to YouTube on this channel. And I said that I was crocheting an octopus. I wasn't, I was crocheting a jellyfish. It was like the sister of this one, it was like a pink one. She sold at the market. Um, but I realized that I titled the video completely wrong, I've only just realized. I don't know where the turtle's gone. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't sell her, but I could have. I can't remember. But then there's a little blue one as well. I can't remember what I sold and what I didn't. But basically that is what I was doing like the entirety of July was doing amigurumi things and I was really really enjoying it um, and I thought that that is what I wanted to stick to. Um, plot twist, I didn't. I was going to do these in sections but I think I'm just going to talk through it because that just it's all over the place honestly, I can't remember where I did it more. Big skip but August time, my, Rebecca's birthday, I made a little trinket box, it was a little cake and inside was a bear keyring and I did a YouTube video on that as well. Again. It was a gift, so I don't have it anymore, but here here it was. Here was the finished result. Very nice, very lovely. I think then I just focused on making videos, and because of Pinterest videos, I don't really create anything along the side of it, so that just focused on getting some YouTube videos out and doing the Pinterest video. That was until I started my scrap jumper and I wanted to make it into a series, and I'm really glad I did. So I'll show the scrap jumper now, even though it's a lot more advanced than the last time you saw it. Basically, I was going to have my first video of 2024 be my scrap jumper continuation because I didn't do it at the end of December, but I didn't really fancy that being the first video. Um, I wanted it to be like evaluation type videos for 2024 and 2023. So I filmed a couple clips of me continuing the sleeves because I'm onto the second sleeve now but I was onto one sleeve. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I like the length of the body so that's why she's not got any ribbon on her at the minute and I need to get the ribbon done on the sleeve but this is what she's looking like so far. I'll stand up because she can see it better. This is what she's looking like so far. Looks, oh, she looks so cool, I love her. Um, this is a sleeve, I did it extra long, it's gonna be even longer once I block it. But I do need to do the uh, ribbon on the end of that and it's currently, is it inside out now? No, no, it's not inside out now. Um, but yes, we just have one more sleeve to do and then the ribbon on the arms and the body if I want it to be this length, I'm not sure. I might do a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. But yes, um, 
which is very oversized. I, I am actually quite proud of it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I am actually quite proud of her. And I started that in September, I think. Um, August, September, October, November. Yeah, I think I started it in September. So I, at the end of every month, I take the scrap yarn for that month and I add her onto this. Um, we finally caught up with all the scrap yarn. I don't have any more right now until I start a new project. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Then the next project, project, next project. Then the next project that I did was my cat beanie and <laughs> one of the stars has come off. Oh, it's gonna mess my hair up, oh well. It's actually too small for my head now because my hair is so poofy. But one of the stars has come off, but I still really love her. Um, I've just never worn her out and I don't think I ever will. I'm not a hat person. I'm not a headband type of person. I'm a this type of person. But I st I'm i still keeping her. She's still really cute. I might sell her at some point, so if you're interested, please let me know. Um, obviously, I'll fix the star before I give it to anyone. And then probably the biggest project that I've ever done is my eye sweater. And again, did a video on this. Um... I think I did this in October. Um, I, honestly, everyone else's that I've seen is so smooth and clean. They've got like, little transitions into what month, and like they've got piles and what they made and the list. And this is just chaotic. But this is the eye jumper. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wear her. And it's not because I don't love her in the style and the colours. The colours are like the most me thing, like ever. Like that's just me in a palette. But. <sighs> As I explained if you watched the video, um, it took an 11mm hook and I don't have an 11mm hook so I just used a 6mm hook and just like pulled the yarn up so that the um, loops were bigger. bigger. But basically I didn't do it right and it's, 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 it's my fault. She's just, she doesn't fit how I wanted her. Like she is a little bit oversized but as we can see I like really oversized things especially jumpers so that's why I don't wear her as much but I'm gonna remake her once I am able to get my hands on an 11 millimeter hook or even a 12 millimeter hook or even an 11 and a half just something that isn't small but yeah I'll definitely be recreating her in the new year that is one of my like goals is to recreate that um but this project really made me realize that I want to do clothing and I do want to stick with it and even though it can be a little bit more tedious because you've got do measuring you've got to be a little bit more specific because of measuring but it did make me realize I want to make clothes so and also that video did quite well so a lot a lot a lot of people joined a little community because of that video so overall just really it's a good month it was a good month and if we are saying that it was October I could just look but I can't be bothered um then I did make some more amigurumi things and little decorations like I made pumpkins I made ghosts I made a little Jack o' Langton um, frog which was absolutely adorable and then because I enjoyed making the cat beanie so much I had this yarn I wanted to use and I didn't know what to do with it so I made a cat beanie with it, where's it gone? But I absolutely hated working with this yarn and it was an absolute nightmare and I don't wear it and it just doesn't look as good as the other one and it's just not my colour palette really. Okay it'll look kind of cute with this hair though. This one fits better than the other one. It's got little fishes on it. This is so cute. <laughs> but yes that is her, that is she. Okay and then my first and final video for market prep was made in October. Um, signed up to a bunch of markets, um, gave myself less than a month to make things so typical male really. Got coasters, I made a bunch of flower coasters in the end because they were just so easy to make. Again, clearly didn't sell. Um, little, some bookmarks, made a bunch of bookmarks. <laughs> These little guys. <laughs> These little guys. These are my favourite, the little clown mushrooms. Adorable. Um, I made some chickens, a little signet. Um, what else did I make? Oh, there's the turtle. There she is. I knew I didn't sell her. Uh, some little charms. I just, I just had a little bit of fun making loads of random little things. Um, but yeah, that is what I basically did the entirety of November. Like I didn't make any- oh I made one actually. <laughs> I made one piece of clothing in November and I do actually wear it but- where's she gone? 
but I know what would make me want to wear her more so I need to alter that um, the only issue is I ran out of the yarn but I made this I didn't make it for a YouTube video I just found this mohair and this like really really pretty yarn um, like marbleized yarn and I just made a little mesh shrug type thing but the thing I think will make me want to wear it more is putting ribbon there and I'm thinking in like a dark brown or just going completely wild and doing a blue Ooh, that might be nice but I think I'll wear it more if I put ribbing or if I put ribbon all along it um, shall I put it on? I'll show you what it looks like on, one second I might try the other things on as well should I try the other things on? this video is already chaotic as it is I may as well try everything else on um, or I might do it at the end and put little clips there I'll do it at the end and put little clips in like I'm more professional than that um, oh, do you guys mind if I do the rest of the video down here? my feet and legs are killing me I also made this which is my bandana and I do really love her but again I'm not a head dress type of person I'm not I don't wear things on my head so that was kind of a waste of time but I did it for a flower the flower power video because I want to start matching my outfits to the videos that I was making okay now we're into December <laughs> um okay we started off the month by making gloves I don't have these to show with me um, because I accidentally left them at Maya's so this is what they looked like I'll put the video up here anyway and then Rebecca asked me if I could make her a Freddy Fazbear being it so I also made that and I recorded that and that was yeah out there um, I kind of went off making Pinterest videos to the begin at the beginning of December, um, like right at the beginning of December, end of November time. So I did crochet quite a bit. Um, I also got into knitting. I say I got into knitting. I haven't successfully knitted anything yet, but I realised I want to learn how to knit. And then continuing the scrap jumper, and then a bunch of gift Christmassy winter videos what? I feel like that's genuinely all that I've made like that's all I've ever made but yeah that that is basically everything that I made in 2023 everything I crocheted everything I created um looking at it here there is quite a lot and to say I, I I started in May like I started five months into the year this okay okay if I look at it as like this is like seven months worth of crochet that's fine that's sweet I'm happy with that. I also oh I also oh I've got it with me actually to show you so as a gift for my mum for Christmas I thought I would dabble in tapestry and this is another thing that I want to do more of in 2024 I don't want to say too much on that because I, I do want to do a video that's like 2024 crochet plans or knitting plans um but I did a little snoop it and this is my first time ever doing tapestry and I have not woven anything in <laughs> don't look at it I don't think I ever will but um yeah I did a little snooper and he turned out pretty cute um definitely need to improve on that but that like I said is one of my plans but yeah that is basically like I said everything that I created in 2023 um I can't wait to do more in 2024 I definitely think the clothing is the way to go for me I want to expand on what I am able to do I want to start doing tops I don't want to just keep doing oversized jumpers although that is the thing that I'll get the most wear out of and the thing that I enjoy making the most probably um I do want to be able to do other things and like up my skills so doing like little bralettes in summer I'm actually really excited to do summer clothing which I know and also skirts I want to do a skirt I want to do a big old skirt um, someone just came out with a YouTube video on one I can't remember who it were but it's somebody that I watch and they did skirts it just looks really cool I also want to go centre a knitting machine I want to get one so bad on Timu they are like £37 I think and then on Amazon they're about 50 so I'm debating but I really really want to centre a knitting machine I think I'll just get so much use out of it um, like so much use out of it so let me know if that's the video that you want to see like me unboxing it and using it for the first time I think that'd be really really cool but yeah I hope you're all having a good 2024 so far and I wish you all the best in the new year and the rest of the year and the years after that 
But yeah, I'll leave everything linked down below. All the videos will probably pop up on the screen anyway that I've been talking about. I'll leave my Pinterest down there in case you want to see any of the upcoming videos. I make little boards for them. Um, what else is there? The Discord. Feel free to come and join the Discord. I'm going to be more active in there now that I've kind of sorted myself out a little bit. But yeah, if you have any ideas on what videos you want to see the upcoming new year, then of the upcoming new year, the upcoming year, the new year, 2024, then feel free to comment down below. But yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.